guys, it's Ashley from Ashley's Got Book Excitement, and I am here with Hashtag Friday Reads. Yay, yay, yay! So for those of you that don't know what Hashtag Friday Reads is, I'm going to put it in the description down below so you can read, enjoy, learn stuff, and join in on the fun if you want. If you want. I recommend that you do, but I don't want to pressure you or anything. So this weekend, I am reading Madman's Daughter by Megan Shepard. I'm on page 63. I started it last night, so that's actually pretty good for me just to like read this much in one night. So it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. It is slightly creepy. Like I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on, but I can only guess that it's going to be bad. And what it is, is it's about this girl named, what is her name? Juliet. I forgot her name. Juliet, and her father was a surgeon. So she was, you know, one of the rich girls, one of the, in the upper class in London society, I think. And then one day her father encounters a scandal, and he leaves the family. Something happens to him, they don't know what, but one day he just up and disappears. So her mother... Um, has to sell all their possessions and has to find not so good ways to keep her daughter and her fed and then her mother dies of an illness. So now Juliet is living in a boarding house and she works, I think she works at night cleaning the medical college, scrubbing the labs and stuff where they do their dissections and explorations into the human body. Yeah. And it's, it's really good. It reads like a historical fiction. And a good historical fiction. So I'm going to read this one and enjoy this one. And just from the 63 pages I read, I recommend that you read it too because it's really good. And then when I finish that one, I have options. Options, options, options. Ones that I should read. Ones that I feel <laughs> a little pressure to read. Yeah, stuff like that. So the first option is Anatomy of a Single Girl by Daria Snandowski. Um, I finished Anatomy of a Boyfriend, and I really need to continue with the little series so that I can finish it and then pop out both reviews. The next option is Bad Glass by Richard E. Grout. This is a library book, so I should get it back. But also, I just really want to read it because it looks so creepy. Look at those pictures. And it's about something has happened in Spokane, Washington. Like a military secret. The military has evacuated the city and locked it down. But there are like disturbing rumors seeping out about people, uh, sudden disappearances, human bodies seized with inanimate objects. And so this journalist, um, no, he's a photographer, he decides to go into the quarantine city to find this big story. And he comes across more than he expects. And I think he's in danger. And then the last option is Inhuman by Cat Falls. I won this book from a Goodreads First Reads giveaway a while. Haven't read it yet. And um, Geraldine from Starian72 is pressuring me to read it because she's reading it now. So I might. I might. This is about, it's like a dystopian post-apocalyptic world where behind the wall of this town people are like mutating into animal-like things and I don't know it sounds good it sounds good so that is my Friday reads tell me which of the three options you think I should read first it's like a stack of three isn't it so yeah tell me about that and that's all I got for this video I will see you guys later like comment subscribe bye